Hi students. In this video, we will solve duplicate points number. Uh, Sometimes you see when we import some points in one group and again when we import another points group, it's indicate duplicate, duplicate points dialog box. So they have many options. How can we work with them? Civil 3D does not allow two points to share the same point number or name. If a duplicate point number is detected, Civil 3D will warn you and ask you how would like to handle it. For example, we have points, point creation tool. I want to add these points again in this drawing. So you will see it will indicate Okay, I want to put these point in this group. Okay, and it will show this dialog box duplicate points number. The duplicate uh, point number dialog allows you to take action. You have several options in a resolution drop down menu. First one we have add an offset. The option allows you to add a value to all incoming points specifying an offset of uh, 1000 would turn 1, 2 and 3 into 1001, 1002, 1003 like this. And another one we have merge. If the existing point has uh, a description but no elevation and the incoming point has an elevation and no description. Civil 3D will fill in the gap with the incoming information. If there is no missing data and the coordinates are identical, the incoming point will be ignored. Be careful using merge. It will behave similar to the overwritten option if the coordinates don't match. Then we have overwrite. This option delete the existing point and replace it with the incoming point. Then we have sequence from. This option will restart the numbering at the higher value. Unlike with editing, adding an offset, the original point number is ignored. Setting a sequence from 1000 word, turn 1, 2 and 3 four five into one thousand one one thousand two three like this then we have used next point number the default option in the resolution drop down use next point number find the next available point number and assign it into the points on import point number are uh, Assign using the points identity setting in the create point dialog or the point file from which they originated. To list available point number, we can enter list available point number on the command line. For example, here I will write list available points number. Available points number. Yeah, you can select any point. Open Coco Point contextual tab. Here you can do that also. And choose Coco Point tools. Here we can find Coco Point tools. And list available points number. Edit point, list point, and uh, here we can find it is list points, point properties, Coco Point tools, and here we have list available points number. So for now it's not working. I want to show you how you will work with them. 
well it will pop up so when it will pop up you will see something like these points uh, this option with resolution the first one we have a counter this option takes the name and adds a numeric counter for example if you have attempted to import duplicate number v100 the name will become v100 <coughs> into 1 then we have specify this option lets you type in the name you want for the new point even though names are optional for points in general this option requires you to key in a name before allowing you to proceed the last one we have used name template this is the default option which looks back at the point creation command setting the existing point name is ignored and overridden by the setting from the point name template so you can note that for the both of the option for dealing the duplicate a checkbox in the dialog box here One when you have this type of dialog box for duplicate point number, uh, you can note that for both of the option for dealing with duplicate a checkbox in the dialog box allow the selected resolution to be applied automatically to all the conflict found. If you would rather apply the same resolution to all the conflict rather than select the resolution on a point by point basis, make sure to check that box. Hope you like this video. For this type of advanced video, you can stay with us.